Warning, everything on this channel is for educational purposes, not intended as financial advice. It's pretty cold out there today. I think it's like minus 40 something and I am cold. So let's get this party started. Um, so last week, I think I was thinking about this type of scenario. And I feel like, you know, just doing these videos at this time on Wednesdays, like almost like, it's almost like five, six, six here. Um, just time correctly <laughs> with a lot of moves. So B this is BTC. Um, I was thinking you could come back up to this point. We need to break this, I think I said, to go higher. Obviously that didn't happen. Um, and we just, we went up a little bit. We didn't make it to here, but we made it to here. Came back down and just kind of flickered this. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm not buying anything. Um, this week, like last week, I wasn't buying any of this. And um, so I'm kind of just sitting to see where this goes, because it's making new lows, right? So I don't think this is going to happen, obviously, anymore. So we need to make some new ones. So this was the last move up. This is the wrong type of block. So let me just change that while we're here on the fly. Here? Might be that. All right. So that's a really small box. I'm going to make it the same as somewhere around here. Let's just do... Um, taking a while sorry this let's just do this so if we're gonna come back up this is what we need to regain we need to regain this to go up right um, so right now we're looking to make some sort of support now it could look like this it could look like that come up to here and go something that seems a little bit much but that would be the worst kind of case scenario that I see I mean worst case is always dump but I think this 40k range is is pretty decent support it was down here I think I marked it out for some other reason. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking for the BTC for this next week. I think more sideways. We'll see what happens here. It could look like this down here. Another good guess. Go to ETH. Um, I mentioned how it had to get above this order block. If it got above, that's when we'd look to get up. It didn't get up. And uh, I mentioned that the stops would be more around this line, which it looks like they're all hitting. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> if you want to call that cool. Um... Take some lines here. So this was our low. This was our high. It did definitely look like a flag if you want to think of it like that. If you're into those things. Um, anyway, I forgot to look at scripts view. Let's quickly check the scripts view. Scripts view said, keep staying out. Like I think last week I mentioned. So it's basically saying if we get above 47, we're bullish, which is kind of coincide with this idea. If we can get above this, we'd be bullish. ETH. Still says stay out. And, um, yeah, not much to really report on that. Um, so yeah, I think for ETH, I didn't draw it. Next week, same thing. We're gonna be going, like, a little funky, probably sideways. Of course, it could still fall off. If it fell off, I think 3k would be a round number that people might be looking for. I don't know. Let's make it newer lows. So, not buy anything this week. There could be some good pumps. Back into this area. Pretty much this move up is the order block we need to get above now, right? Get above this. That would be a bullish signal, which would co coincide with this flipping and this turning green. We need both of these to turn green at the same time to have a chance, you know, like we did before, right? All the way back. That's it for this video. Thanks, and talk soon.